All right, the Ja Morant punishment. Um, on our notes, it's written Ja Morant punishment, but I'm going to frame a question here for you, which is there's a lot of reports that it could be a half a season. Yeah, ridiculous. What is your feeling on how far or how little the whole Ja Morant punishments have gone? Because some people also think maybe the – First one of eight games and his like fake rehab stint for what like twenty four hours yeah. was, you know, bogus. Kind of bogus. And I'll just add this context. I don't know if you read today. Do you see what his team came out and said? It was a fake toy gun or something. It was something. a toy gun. Yeah. That's some bad accountability. You don't want to come out and put that statement. So what do you think about the punishment situation? Is the NBA you think looking at from the reports looking at taking it too far or is it just right? It's way too far, man. I, I, I look John Morant being an idiot. But you can't get suspended that long for being an idiot. He didn't, like, harm anyone. Unless there's some reports that we don't know about. They did something really bad, like, with the gun. But in general, like, we know that players packed guns in the past. We know Gilbert Arenas walked into a locker room with a gun. We know Gary Payton threatened a teammate to go get his gun and shoot him. Like, Also, we, if it's a registered firearm, it's technically legal. Yeah, he's not doing... Not anything. technically, it is legal. It's legal. He's not doing anything illegal, so you can't punish him just for the sake of punishing him just because it's a bad PR. It's bad. He's an idiot. I don't like what he's doing. It's stupid. It's moronic. It's immature. It's it's uh, hey, he's destructive. Up on the guy. He's up on the guy. <laughs> what? No, it's destructive. <laughs> he's up on the guy. No, I'm not. It's destructive to his career. Like, it's a horrible choice. He's making and he has a daughter and he has a family. I mean, yeah, he's making horrible choices, but that's not enough to suspend a guy half a season and cost him, like, what, he makes, like, $40 million a year? That's going to cost him $20 million for a registered probably having a legal firearm no it's not right yeah i will say this now it's very Sorry, one question if he was like chris came i saw a picture of him like years ago when he had his guns and he was hunting like it's a gun like i know it's different context one's being gangster one's hunting but like they're both legal. yeah but one was in a club that was bad the second one maybe not as bad but the first one he was in a club flashing a gun no it's stupid yeah, but that's also... It's not you're illegal. Not, also, you're not, not allowed... That was in Denver, yeah. which is, you can't have an unregistered firearm from a different state. That was that's technically true. somewhat illegal, but they couldn't track if it was his or somebody else's. Like There was like all that stuff. That one was technically maybe illegal, which is why the first suspension was totally right. The eight games was right. What was it? Eight, I think. Um, my thing is, George, you can't go less than eight games this time. No, you go ten. And I still think that's harsh. Like, he's, he didn't technically do anything illegal. Okay. I was going to give an illegal example. If you work at a job right now yeah. and you get a DUI, which is illegal, more illegal than holding a gun. Yeah. I totally understand it. But, like, your job has the right to fire you. Your job has the right to give you a warning. If you do it again, get fired. Yeah. I think the same would apply. Uh, wouldn't it be legal to fire somebody from their job if they got caught on social media flashing guns in a illegal state to do it? Technically, you could get fired from your job. So, like, yeah. I, I'm not saying the NBA should suspend him for half a season. I think it's literally blasphemous that the thing about cutting half of his NBA season in his career, in his young career, in his prime. I mean, let's say he has 12 years of prime. You're cutting 124th of his prime. When you said that, that seemed like a very little number to me, actually. <laughs> but 124th of his prime is not that much. But I know what you're saying. Like, it's like 5%. You're cutting a part of his prime. You're probably putting the team in a scenario where they might not even be able to like be in the right standings to make the playoffs when he comes back. So if they're not built correctly, you're also looking at like destroying the team season. Right. I think it's just unbelievable that we're so fired up about the gun thing. Like I really, I get it. I think he's so dumb because like, how does he not get it? Like you shouldn't do that on camera. Like. It's so easy. Like, maybe they have more. Maybe he's breaking. I mean, weed is legal in the NBA, so maybe he was high. I don't know. Like, but like, I think you're allowed now. Right? You're allowed now. So it's legal. Yeah. So like, I don't know. But like, can you really suspend someone for being an idiot? That's essentially what you'd be doing: suspending a guy for being an idiot. One thing we're not considering is, like I said, with like your work. You are a representation of the company you're representing. And as much as these guys are entrepreneurs and they make millions of dollars, they make more than 99.99999 of Yeah, but an accountant is a replace, replaceable. John Morant's not replaceable. That doesn't matter to the league office. It matters to the team. But, like, the league office, it should matter. Yes, like, if LeBron's out for a year because of injury even, like, it's bad, right? But 
At the end of the day, if you're representing the business poorly, the NBA has a right to suspend them as long as they want. Now, I'm not saying they don't have the, they totally yeah. have the right. I just don't think it's necessary. But let's put it in real people terms, okay? Like I'm not cuz NBA players don't make real people money, right? You said like if he has a 40 million dollar contract, he loses 20. Ooh, he ends up with 20 million. Okay. Sounds like not a lot. But if you made 40,000 a year and then your company suspended you for half a year for having a legal gun, you'd be like, I literally I'm going to go bankrupt. I'm going to lose my home because I did something that was legal, but I just put it on social media and you didn't like that. That When you put it in those perspectives, it is really fucked up. If you I do mean, half a season. we know players have guns. Are we mad that he flashed it or is he that is he has a gun? Which one are we mad at? That he's flashed it, tw- it twice on social media. Yeah, stupid. Horrible representation of a league. Yes, and that's why I think if you're Adam Silver, he's trying to make a point just like – David Stern trying to make a point of dress codes and different things. At some point, you're trying to represent your business in a certain way. He's trying to make a point. Does not mean I completely agree, but I will say I understand the reasoning behind it. If they suspend him for half a year, because they're gonna, they're pretty much telling him, "Listen, this is a no nonsense situation. If you do it again, it's going to be even worse." At some point, obviously, there's a good. This is the last point I'm gonna make. Obviously. Eight games and a fake 24-hour rehab stint did not teach him any lessons. Mm-hmm. So I think in the eyes of the NBA, and if you heard Adam Silver talking about it, he sounded like he was like a disappointed father because like he's like, I sat with John Morant. I talked to him about mm-hmm. it. We thought we were in a good place. At some point, you have to make a statement if you want them to actually understand. True. So it might be too much, yes, but you got to make a point sometimes. Fair enough. But don't suspend him for half a season. <laughs> no, it's not fair.